next guest tonight from his work on Saturday Night Live, and he currently stars as King George III in Hamilton. Please welcome Taryn Killam. <laughs> Of people. Thank you so much for joining me Thank in the confessional. Yes. So lonely in there. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. I don't think I've ever been joined in there before. No, I just started crawling backstage and yeah. found my way in. Thank you very yeah. much. Now you are uh, you are King George the Third in Hamilton I am. now. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I know. Yeah. First of all. Congratulations. Yeah. What an amazingly fun part to do. It is. Did you take it just for the part, or was it the only way you could get tickets to Hamilton at this point? Uh, column A and B, honestly. Yep. A little of both. Yeah. No, I did not know either you were a singer. Uh, it's what I started out doing. I went, to, I went to college for musical theater for a year, and then comedy took over and, and haven't sung in earnest ever since. So. <laughs> you went to <laughs> college for musical theater, yeah. and then you decided to go for the big money, comedy. In comedy. <laughs> Improv, <laughs> sketch comedy. Did your parents worry at all that you were oh, going oh, to Oh, so much. And thanks for bringing it up again, because they just <laughs> forgot. It worked out. They it just got no it. Yeah, no, it, yeah. it has worked out now. Yeah, and it's an honor. The show is incredible. You've all seen it, right? Sorry, <laughs> sorry to rub your nose in that. Um, no, it, it's so amazing, and, and I was a huge fan of it, and yeah. and no, Lynn and Tommy, and they invited yeah. me to be a part of the show, and yeah. I said, of course, because yeah. Well, we've had Andrew Rannells and, and John Groff on yeah. here to talk yeah, about amazing. playing the part before you. Mm -hmm. That crown, they say, is one of the hardest parts of it. It stinks. It's so heavy. It's so heavy, and you're in heels, and for the first song, you have a giant velvet cape. Yes. That is that is literally like swaying you to and fro like a tossed ship. So it's impossible to just walk in a straight line. Like that is the biggest challenge is just walk straight downstage. Which and is the entire choreography. That's all it is too. Yeah. <laughs> it is in itself. It's a self-defeating role uh, when it comes to wardrobe. But I'm also I think I'm the tallest. So in the heels and in the crown. I actually have to duck under under the set when I when I make my entrances and my third show ever I did not, and it knocked the crown like to the back of my head sort of like a precocious like apple dumpling gang character, <laughs> and then Golly, yeah, I'm the king. yeah <laughs> I'm gonna kill you um, and then there's there, there's a part where I have to like kind of skip and joy yeah. and I do that and the crown like for me it was slow motion just goes whoop, 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 and smashes right down on the stage. And uh, Did you get a laugh? it got a huge laugh. It was great. You literally can't fail in that role. It's so nice. Well, a lot of people come to see, everybody wants to see that show, and people pull all kinds of strings to try to get in there. Like, if you people come backstage, like, I can't believe I'm meeting this person. I Not that you don't meet a lot of famous people. No, already, no, 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 no. It's a, if you're a fan like of something, world it's so leaders exciting. come. That's true. No, important people. For me, it was Sarah Michelle Geller came last week, and I. Buffy? I was Buffy. Buffy, who. The world leader. World leader. World leader. Buffy. Dimensional leader, really. I if yeah. we're getting technical, sure. uh, the first time, I, like, I, I, maybe the only time that I've cried in earnest at like narrative television was on Buffy, when Angel loses his soul again and she has to stab him through the heart to close the hell mouth. Uh, I played it much cooler than I am right now when I was with her. It was very much like, hey, thank you for coming to the show. It's so great. I'm a huge fan of Buffy. I love you very much. And then like ran backstage. <laughs> Well, you do a lot of, I mean, you're famous for your impressions, and especially for impressions that, like, nobody had a hook for. Like, sure. nobody did Brad Pitt. Yeah. And you had a hook for Brad Pitt. Yeah. Or McConaughey is a very thin needle. Sure, uh, you know, yeah, very yeah, thin yeah. needle to thread there. Um, have, you must run into these people sometimes after doing these impressions. Do you? Yes. You ever run into one of them? They go like, eh, nice. <laughs> no, nobody likes their impression of themselves, I find. So mm -hmm. they'll... Quickly skirt to be like, you do this person great, you do that person great. You really haven't gotten me. Like that—that that is always what they say. Mm -hmm. um, but but I I was backstage at the 40th. Somebody I got to meet who I never got to do on the show. It was like my favorite kind of like like uh, experience in passing. 40th was crazy. There's tons of people there from all generations of the show. Yeah. And 40th I, anniversary 40th of SNL. Of SNL. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And and I'm walking and I and I see out of the corner of my eye Jeff Goldblum walks up. And I'm a big Jeff Goldblum fan. And he passes and he catches eyes with me and all he gives me is yes, 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 yes. Very, very good. And then kept walking. <laughs> and I was like, that's it. Awesome. I'm done. That's all that's I need. That's awesome. That's if awesome. I do nothing else, that's it. Yes, yes, you yes. would, um, you might know this is like uh -huh. the, this 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 season SNL is 
having an amazing season. The ratings yeah. are great, and everybody's talking about it. And the show's been wonderful. Like yes. Alec Baldwin's Trump and Melissa McCarthy's uh, Sean Spicer. Yeah. I think her Sean Spicer is one of the most brilliant comedic so performances funny. I, I ever. have ever seen. But um, in the past, yeah, yeah Melissa, is it, is it weird? Is when like when when people come in who aren't even the hosts that week because yeah. uh, they weren't. It was Kristen Stewart who was the host mm -hmm. this week. Mm -hmm. Come when when non-cast members come in and sort of do the impressions. Does the cast there go, hey, we're the ensemble. Why aren't we doing those? No. I always feel bad for the cast members who are super talented who don't get like the to, yeah. to, uh, chop at that. No, I, I mean, it's done very well, I think. Yep. I, like, I was there when they had Larry David come in for Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's always within sort of the family of comedy and people that we respect. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's more than anything exciting, just as exciting for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, Melissa was the person, I, I came from the Groundlings Theater in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. sketch and improv. She was a groundling as well. Thank you, mom. We always have one. Um, we always have one. <laughs> we always have one of my mom. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and Melissa was the person that I would go out of my way to see the show. If you heard Melissa was going to be in the show, it was, it was definitely worth seeing. Well, her so. Spicer is extraordinary. She's, she's Incredible. a genius. She's a genius. Now, you also, did you ever do a Schwarzenegger? Uh, I didn't do him on the show, but I directed him in a movie this past summer. Which was very cool, very exciting for me. Um, I directed a film called Why We're Killing Gunther, and it's a mockumentary about uh, hitmen, ca contract killers, who are trying to kill the most famous hitman to kind of, you know, usurp the king. Okay. Uh, and we got Arnold to be Gunther, spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> and it was crazy because I, I FaceTimed with him about the thing, and, and the first time I FaceTimed with him, like, uh, he had an assistant or somebody pick up, he's like, hey, Tyrone, I'm gonna hand you to Arnold now. And I get handed to Arnold, who's fully like smoking a cigar at a giant oak desk in front of a six foot oil painting of himself from Pumping Iron Days. <laughs> it was everything you wanted to be. He's like, Hello, Taryn. Good to see you. That's the before. This is the after. <laughs> it's like, the best. The best. It's all you want. It's the best. It's all you want. Sarah, lovely to meet you. Such a pleasure. I'll see you in the confessional. Yes, sir. Hamilton is on Broadway at the Richard Rogers Theater. Taryn Kellum, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Ray Trevor. Stick around.